and welcome to America House Chisinau Video Library, a project brought to you by Peace Corps Moldova in collaboration with Academy for Innovation and Change for Education. My name is Daniela Munkaftenev, and today we have a very special guest from the United States, Linda Wesley. Linda is going to help you study English, improve your pronunciation, and enrich your vocabulary. Dear student, please open your textbooks, page 104. Linda is going to read the text Robin Hood. I hope you like their reading. Linda, we're good to go. Hi, we're going to talk about Robin Hood, the man who stole from the rich and gave to the poor. Robin Hood. Robin Hood stories come from the old times. Robin Hood was a hero for poor people. He took money from those who had a lot and gave it to the poor. He never took anything from women or people who worked in the fields or the forest. Robin Hood was the best bowman in England, and he could fight very well with a sword and with a stave. A stave is a thick, straight stick, about two meters long, used for fighting. One day, Robin Hood was looking for deer. He saw some deer on the far side of a little river. There was a bridge over the river, but it was very narrow, and a man was standing on it. He was a very big man, more than two meters tall and the weapon was a strong stave. Robin came to the end of the bridge, but the man didn't move. I want to go to the other side of the river. Let me come over the bridge, Robin said. The big man didn't say anything. We'll fight for the bridge, Robin Hood said. The one who falls into the river is the loser. Ha ha ha, said the big man. I love fighting. And they started to fight. They fought for an hour. Their staves moved very fast. Then Robin Hood went over the side of the bridge and fell into the water. The big man looked down and said, do you want help? Robin climbed up on the riverbank. That was a good fight, he said. You're a strong man. Can I do anything for you? Yes, said the big man. Can you help me find Robin Hood? I want to be one of his men. Robin Hood sounded his horn and 20 men in green clothes came over the bridge. One of them said, you've been in the water, Robin. Did this man throw you in? Robin, said the big man, will you forgive me? Robin laughed and said, I like you. What is your name? My name is John Little. Little, said Robin, and he laughed because John was so big. We'll call you Little John. They gave Little John green clothes. Something happened on my screen. Do you see the screen? No, something happened to my screen. Yeah, I have to move this up. No, can you slide it up? Can you slide up the text? Okay, I'm going to stop and then share it again. And can you make the text any bigger? He became... There we go. Do you see it now? I do. It was... No, let's see. Something... It's my... It's, it's, it's just down at the bottom of my screen. Let me see. Now I see it. Just Something. continue from where you stopped and I will edit it. Yeah, I just have to get to it again. Okay. If it doesn't do anything, it'll be fine. I think when I touch something. Yeah. Okay. Uh, little said Robin and laughed because John was big. We'll call you Little John. They gave Little John green clothes and the biggest bow from the outlaw's store. He became one of Robin Hood's men. <laughs> Thank you so much, Linda. I really enjoyed listening to you reading the story of Robin Hood. Well, a short story because we know there are many stories about this very interesting character, right? Okay. Uh, dear students, I hope you enjoyed Linda's reading as well. 
And this video recording will help you understand this text better and also improve your pronunciation. Stay tuned for more video lessons from America House Kishino Video Library. Have a nice day and good luck with your homework.